we see very few pure elements in everyday life. Here's mercury in a thermometer, silver and gold jewellery and helium gas is used to fill balloons. Elements are rarely seen because they're so often combined in chemical reactions to form compounds. Watch what happens when we combine the two elements sodium and chlorine gas. The diving rudders have completely seized up. Sometimes I think this sub will never be ready for launch. Where is the oil? Oh, great. Another scientific investigation. What's going on? Stella, we're having another argument here. Gemma says her drink is totally pure. Yes, it's pure orange juice. It says so on the bottle. It's made from real oranges. It's got bits in it. It's not really pure. My mineral water is totally clear and clean. There's nothing mixed in it, and it comes from the mountains. It must be pure. It's had chemicals added to it to make it clean. You can talk. Your cola's fizzy, and there's artificial flavouring. Stella, what do you think? I can settle one thing straight away. They're all full of chemicals. Chemicals aren't just things you find in labs. Everything around you is made up of chemicals. This cake is made from all these ingredients. But what are the ingredients made out of? They're all made out of chemicals called elements. Elements are the building blocks of everything around us. This lot certainly don't look very tasty. In fact, some of these elements are toxic and dangerous. When elements combine, they produce something that looks and behaves very differently from the raw ingredients. And what do you think this little group of elements makes up? My sea chest and compass. My book of navigation charts or my trusty cat Boffin. Actually it's Boffin. Even living things are made up of elements. Everything looks so different from the raw ingredients, the elements, because of the way elements are combined together. Elements are made up of tiny particles, too small to see with the naked eye. Particles of one element are all the same. Imagine these are particles of the element sodium. Chlorine particles are very different from sodium particles. But when particles of different elements get together, two things can happen. They can be mixed together, but they keep their own characteristics and are easily separated, or they can join together chemically. They're much harder to separate now. The chemical combination is called a compound. The elements sodium metal and chlorine gas combine together to make the compound sodium chloride. Sodium and chlorine are just two of the 112 elements discovered so far. Most of these, including sodium, are metals. So a compound is a substance where two or more elements have joined together chemically. And the combinations of elements within these compounds are always in fixed proportions.